Hey YouTube, Roy Marco with Marco Custom Build Models coming today with this 1971 Cyclone stock car from Model to King and it's an AMT Ertl version. So let's get into this box here and just see what's on here. There's a couple of uh, de decal sheet choices in here. We got the uh, chass uh, tubular NASCAR chassis, that's 71 Cyclone body. Well, let's get into it. Inside the box here. There's the box here, instructions are on top. We'll look at those later. Alright, so here we have that 71 Cyclone body. Uh, 70 and 71, I, I think, are the same or very similar. This is uh, made like a NASCAR, it does not have uh, door handles, they have them uh, basically sheeted over with a piece of aluminum. Uh, other than that it's a pretty much a stock body, it has all the correct wheel well openings and things like that. It has all the tail light openings. It does have some uh, hood pins, or well, in this case trunk pins that hold the trunk down. It does have a gas hole, in the, like a filler in the side for an ass car that would not be on the original body. And also it has uh, clips that hold the windshield in. So basically you could turn this back into a stock vehicle with uh, some ingenuity and creativity. You just have to get rid of a few details. There's also uh, this here, this little riveted detail along just before the rear bumper, sort of to create little bit of air so there's nothing getting trapped behind that bumper so there you go there's the body and the inside not much to see there so there's the 71 cyclone body next up we have the glass this is uh, very straightforward it's just one uh, one piece that inserts up into the body on the glass it does say set 1970 but like I said 70 71 are the same We have some chrome here. Okay, so we have here uh, the four NASCAR style wheels. There's uh, some front shock detail here in chrome. So it looks like lower plates with the leaf springs possibly or something with the suspension. There's a steering wheel here. That uh, typical NASCAR wheel for that era. We got some coolers here. Uh, differential housing. Uh, looks like a differential cover. Got a shifter and some other pieces for the uh, the chassis and possible engine bay. There's the back side of that. There you go. What's very interesting are the uh, other wheel choices. Looks like it comes with a stock set of wheels for a stock version a car, which is really cool. If you wanted to go back to stock, you could use these or use them on another Ford or Mercury if you're into these cars. Got a rear bumper and a front bumper. The front bumper now the grill is not as original. It's very uh, NASCAR. Has the headlights blocked off plus doesn't have all the details that the Mercury Montego would have. These are those uh, big boss 429 Cobra Jet valve covers. We got the tail light inserts here but without tail light detail. So very NASCAR. Uh, I'm not sure what these two bars are for, but they're something. There's a couple of fillers for the uh, for the engine, possibly, and it looks like a couple of pedestals for a, uh, a rear wing, but not a NASCAR wing like the stock uh, spoiler or something like that, right? So there's that. There's the backside, how that looks. Okay, so we have. Firewall, some front suspension here, uh, lower pieces, there's uh, differential and leaf springs built in. We have front spindles and springs, uh, steering links, so this does have steerable front end if you want to make that happen. It also has a drive shaft here and looks like possibly an air cleaner. All right, there's that, that's what it looks like on the other side. Then we have a chassis which only goes about 
halfway and then in the other there's a back section here that glues on. I want to note I've actually done a chassis for one of a car similar to this and what has happened is uh, this is sort of adjustable in length and you'll want to check your your wheel well opening uh, to where that chassis is because I glued one of these together and it was too short for the car when I glued it like this so do check that when you're putting this style of kit together but there's your platform you got some inside details some rivets place to put the seat place to put the roll cage and there you have it okay and we have this fell off the tree we got our driver's NASCAR seat with the side support and the seat belt detail molded in Okay, another loose piece probably a panel for the rear and we have the wheel uh, backs and some inserts that hold the wheels on some shocks here this is the dashboard it has some gauge detail built into it and there's a fan their side there's the 429 block not a lot of uh, detail molded in in the sense of frost plugs or anything like that but uh, or core plugs there's the headers here these are a couple of exhaust tubes have a starter, the belt assembly, and the water pump, and timing chain assembly. We have the intake manifold, got an oil pan here, and a distributor on the other side. You can see the detail on it. There's one side of the tree and the other. Here we have the uh, brake and clutch pedal, possibly a seat back. Yeah, I'm sure that's what that is. Then you got the top of the fuel cell here, uh, cooler, this sort of goes on the front, the engine bay, this is also the uh, roll cage area for the engine bay, we got a set of cylinder heads with rocker detail molded in, alright, there's one side, there's it looks on the back, then we have some roll cage detail, these are the sidebars, the nets molded in here, we have some more roll cage detail. There's a main roll bar here, battery, a couple more pieces there. Again, we'll flip that over, you can see the other side. Alright, so here we have a hood. It's got some hood pins molded into the bodywork there. There's the back side. Okay. So here it looks like we have a couple more cylinder heads here. Got a uh, looks like possibly a chin wing and then a wing on the back for the NASCAR wing. And then some inner panels that go into the bodywork there. There's the other side. All right, here we also have the uh, rear pad goes below the bumper. In the box, you have four Goodyears. These are those uh, sort of older race car tires that they had in AMT and PC kits. They say Goodyear on the side. These ones are pre-cut so you don't have to cut them out. Very nice, you get uh, four of those, all the same width. We got two big decal sheets or decal sheets. This uh, is basically uh, car 71 or car 13. Now these, I'm not sure these are actual uh, NASCAR decals from the day. Uh, but anyway, there's just sort of uh, generic what if. So I think anyway, uh, but very nice. Nice big numbers and number four here. You got 429 cubic inch, Mercury. What's nice about these, you can use them on other models as well, because you got so many of them. And then here's the other one here that basically does the uh, numbers, or the, uh, the 
box art. You have the Cyclone spoiler line here. Goes down the side. Boss 429 on the hood there. You got all kinds of nice striping and hood pin detail and grill detail, dash detail. Also some Goodyear uh, in different colors. So there you have it. Two big decal sheets there. Last but not least, you get instructions. There you go. So basic, uh, basically the same instructions you get in most AMT MPC kits. There you go. Building the engine there. There's a, a chassis build. All right, well, there you have it. That's what you get in the uh, 1971 Cyclone stock car from Model King and AMT Models. So if you want to pick one up, you see one, that's what you get in the box. If you like these videos, please subscribe, hit that like button, ring that bell for notifications. Please like, share, and comment, as I always love reading the comments. Have yourself a great day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.